Ja. Okay, läuft. Hello. Welcome to the sunny Wester Westerwood, the sunny Westerwald here in Germany. Check this out. The sun is shining. The cows are eating grass in the fields. Our magnificent dog is out having a fun time in the sun. And actually, it's not as cold as it was last time. Yeah, last week's video, Frozen at the Organ, really was frozen. We came home and we both felt like we were going to get a cold. Thankfully, that didn't happen. So today, we thought we'd go for a walk and take you with us. Why? Well, basically, after last week's video, I sort of had a look around to see where we could go and maybe film a nice new video with a nice new organ. But at the moment, with the way the temperature is, it's actually pretty impossible to find a decent organ in a church that's, well, shall we say, constantly uh, heated so that it makes sense to go and film there. It's a bit difficult actually at the moment. So we're gonna do another video like we did two weeks ago, where I introduced you to a little sort of, uh, um, sort of donation scheme we had running to, uh, to gather some donations towards uh, helping children's hospitals. And I'm gonna tell you about that in a minute again, because that's still running. It's run, run, running rather well actually. But first I wanted to remind you of our little competition two weeks ago. Um, I posted a video with a little improvisation from the church in Gackenbach and I said it's an improvisation on a modern church hymn and I said if you get it right you win a prize and all week long nobody got it. Last week we posted another video I mentioned that nobody got it right posted that video and again for days nobody got it right but now Somebody has finally chosen the right hymn. So here we are, I have it on my mobile phone. Here is the message that someone wrote yesterday, at least it says it was yesterday, and they got the right song. Now it's a German song and it's called Von allen Seiten um gibst du mich. Now how we're going to translate that, I don't know, but it means you are all around me, basically. So uh, that's the song. Now I will put a sort of a little version of that song in on the video later, just the melody. I won't sing it for you, you don't want that. But it's a rather popular modern church hymn these days and uh, finally someone got it right. That someone, by the way, I'll tell you in the English version as well. It was in German, so I'm assuming it's a German speaker, but someone called Teg Mob. I don't think that's a real name, I think that's just a username. So I will be getting in touch with Teg Mob and asking him or her for a contact details so that we can send him or her uh, a copy of the new CD. There it is, Teg Mob with the right answer. So here's a quick word about our little uh, um, donations to children's hospitals that's running at the moment. My wife set up a sort of little crowdfunding page for that and we've already gathered quite a bit actually, more than we thought we'd get and uh, some of you very kindly also donated towards that which is absolutely wonderful, thank you very much. Now it's still running even though next week is Christmas but it's still running and um, it's quite clever actually. We've spoken to a few clinics around Germany, some of them have said we don't take any gifts. If you want to donate some money to the clinic then please do but no gifts and for various reasons, hygiene reasons or whatever. We couldn't quite understand that. Now we decided we don't want to go along that path because while it is of course good to donate something to these causes, you never actually know what's really happening to the money that goes there. So that's not quite what we wanted. We wanted to actually get tangible items for the kids that are in these clinics. And there's one clinic we've spoken to quite a lot in the past few days and they've um, They've really helped us. They've given us sort of a list of things that they actually need for the kids. Now, we're not talking about medical supplies. We're talking about things that, for the kids while they're actually in hospital. Because a lot of these kids, you know, they don't know how long they're going to be there. And they need, you know, they need something to do while they're there. It can be quite boring for them. So, um, you know, kids of sort of primary school age, they're covered. They've got toys and things that keep them occupied. But some of the older kids, like teenagers, or the really small babies, um, they've got nothing there. So they've given us some ideas of things we can get 
uh, that would help them. So I'm keeping an eye on the dog. He's walking quite a bit far forward and there's, there's rather a lot of cows in the field as well. We don't want them to get involved with the cows. Anyway, uh, back to our subject. So yeah, so we've been in touch with them. So we've got a whole list of things that we've ordered. And uh, as these things sort of arrive, then we're going to be posting pictures of what we've got and what we're going to sort of package together for these kids. And we'll be posting that on the crowdfunding page itself. Now, there's a link to it down below. You can still donate if you want. And we're all, of course, very grateful for any donations. Um, I said Christmas is next week, so aren't we a bit late? Well, no, actually. And this is rather clever. One of the clinics we've been in touch with, they've said, look, it's nice that you want to do it for Christmas, but believe us, before Christmas, it's way too stress way too stressy do it after Christmas when everything's sort of calmed down again and I think the reasons for that are quite quite easy really there's you know at, at, over the Christmas period they're gonna be like sort of doctors and nurses and whatever on call you know the people that are there just for sort of you know to keep things going but the sort of the normal admin staff they're all on holiday so they're the ones who are going to be in charge of you know receiving the gifts and then you know passing them around and things like that so we've we've sort of agreed that we're going to do this after christmas when you know stress levels are much lower again and uh we're going to sort of take you with us while when we do it obviously we can't take you in to the hospital and round the ward that wouldn't be allowed for uh, data protection purposes but we'll take you with you on the day and we'll give you a sort of update of what's going on maybe we can get a little maybe, maybe we can get an interview with a member of staff we don't know but it's uh we didn't want to make it this public but uh they sort of offered us that they said well when you come we'll give you a tour of the facilities here and show you exactly what we're going to be doing with your gifts so it's a rather nice little story we've been doing this for a couple of years now my wife and i as i said before and uh, this year sort of we're doing it on a slightly larger scale thanks to you and your help One of the great things about living out here in the country is you get to sort of play around in the fields with the farmers' cows and things. And I don't, I don't mean that in a strange way, no, but uh, in our little village, we're very, we're actually very close to our farmer, and he's got, he's a, as you can see, he's a milk farmer, and uh, uh, we're actually very close to some of his cows, and we know them, even some of them by name. And my, my missus, you never believe it when you see her, but. Um, by the way, if you see our video from two weeks ago, you can see one of our wedding pictures on the wall. Everyone says they want to see pictures of my darling wife. Well, she doesn't want to be uh, out in public. You don't want to be out in public. No, she says no. She still says no. One day I'll, I'll post a secret video. Um, but yeah, but you know, when, when they has calves here on the farm, she goes round and sort of helps, you know, uh, feeding the calves and things like that. It's really rather cute. And so, yeah, I think secretly she wanted to be a bit of a farmer's wife herself, but uh, me being a musician, I'm not really, not really up to that. So finally back to our piece of music for today. And like I mentioned before, it's going to be a little improvisation again. One of those we recorded a couple of weeks ago in Gackenbach on the organ. And I think we'll, we'll have a little competition this time as well. It should be a lot easier this time because it's an international hymn that the improvisation is based on. So people around the world should recognize it quite easily this time, I hope at least. And uh, yeah, like I say, we'll make it a little competition for one of the CDs again. So this time, I think quite a lot of people will get it. So we'll pick someone at random and we'll pick one person from the German speaking videos and one person from the English speaking videos. Yeah, so we can get it. Got to keep an eye on the dog here. We're about to leave the farmer's fields and head back into the village. So we have to get him back on his lead at some point. That's a happy dog in a happy environment. So yeah, anyway, if you recognize it, do immediately uh, comment and let us know. Uh, while we're talking about the CDs, a lot of people ordered the CDs in advance. We had a crowdfunding campaign that was uh, up and running a couple of months back. And I promised people that the CDs would be ready for Christmas. And theoretically, the CDs would be ready for Christmas if it wasn't for the people we got to actually go and burn the CDs for us. Uh, they won't be able to deliver before Christmas. Which is a bit of a shame because uh, I was kind of hoping that it would all be there in time. And as it so often is when you're relying on other people to do something for you, 
it's often not the case so I'm assuming they're very busy before Christmas or they're understaffed or whatever they just can't get them delivered on time which is a bit of a shame because uh, I had hoped to get them sent around the world for you for Christmas that was going to be the plan but uh, unfortunately and I'm very sorry fortunately that won't be the case but like I said there's actually nothing we can do about it in this case if it was our if it was our fault, I would have told you that, but unfortunately there are other people involved here. So, um, sorry, I'm keeping an eye on what the dog's up to in the background. I'm not ignoring you. So yeah, so back to our little piece of music. It was recorded a couple of weeks ago back in Gackenbach, and like I say, I think you should recognize it. So, um, is this our last video before Christmas? I'm not sure. No, I think we'll probably manage to squeeze another one in before Christmas. So I won't wish you a happy Christmas yet, but I hope you're having a good calm run up to Christmas and you're not all stressed out like a lot of people around the world are. So thanks for watching, thanks for listening, thanks for subscribing, thanks for commenting and thanks also for supporting. Don't forget there's our little crowdfunding thing for our children's hospitals or if you just want to support us on our channel you are also more than welcome to do that. Links below as usual. So thanks very much, see you next time, bye bye.